So I have to say that this was a very difficult decision to make. Mm -hmm. Because it's it makes my practice exclusive, right? Um, but also to protect my own sanity. Mm -hmm. um, like I've lost a child. I have a child. And I have to truly be present fully for my child. And the amount of energy it takes to be present in the hospital yeah. is too much for me. Mm -hmm. And being real with myself, you know, I could be, I could put on the, I could put the S on my chest and be like, I could do it. But the real, real thing is that I, I cannot. Mm -hmm. I had to set a boundary. Yeah. And it's unfortunate because there are mothers who, you know, Yes, they would benefit from a doula, but I also have friends who still do hospital births. So I, we also have a a, um, a connection where if someone comes to me, I can refer them to someone mm -hmm. who I know will support them in all the ways that they need in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm just pushing them off. There's also a referral process. So. Yeah. Thank you so much <laughs> for that question. Well, I guess um, I think the biggest thing I, I would say, the difference, because I've, I've done both as a doula as well, is that when you are at home, you're not on a clock. And when you go to the hospital, you are on a clock. Mm -hmm. They're expecting your baby to like be in your arms by a certain time. And if that doesn't happen, then they, they won't make it happen, mm -hmm. right? I will also fall in victim to that. Mm -hmm. um, and any person who has been in labor will tell you it. it's called labor for a reason it is hard 